Hey everybody and welcome back to a review and today I am reviewing Fall Guys. Is it behind schedule because the game has been out for a while? No, this was completely on purpose because I was like, am I gonna review this game right off the bat when it releases because it was so hyped up and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. And there is a reason for that. So these types of games, they have such a big hype before the release that um, everyone is gonna play it no matter what. But is it actually worth playing? And you only know if it's really worth it after it's been released for a while, new games have come across the board and you can actually look back and look, is the game that good? So that's what we're doing today. Um, so for everyone <coughs> who um, does know the game but doesn't know the full details about it, it's 20 euros. I want to start with that because to me that's kind of expensive it's a indie game it's by Me mediatonic and published by Devel devolver digital um, yeah to me I only bought it because I had some money for my birthday otherwise I thought the game would be too expensive for me because it was hyped I thought it was going to be too expensive. Um, what next to that? So there are already quite some expansions. Collector's pack and a fast food costume pack. These are both 10 euros and 5 euros. So that's quite a lot of money. Let's look to Rock League. Some of the exp um, additional cards are a little cheaper. So to me those are big expensive expenses just for a little bit of additional content i'm just gonna put it out there so um i've played the game not only on my own account but also on different accounts from friends on different platforms so i think as an end conclusion i like the game the most on the computer because the the way you play it with i personally play it with a mouse and keyboard I genuinely like it better that way um, I am not the best at the game as you can see I've only snatched a crown and I'm only level 11 because I stepped out of it for quite a long time when it first initially released I grabbed the game and I played it with a couple of times with friends um, then I got really busy with study and then I picked it up the day before yesterday and I started playing so I had a really good insight for my opinion that I saw it at the first release and a couple of um, weeks later is it weeks when was the real real release date from this game it was where is it it was August 4th that's two months and a day so we're two months and a day later um, this first season almost ends. Um, we've got some map upgrades. I think we're getting new maps in the second season. But is it actually worth playing the game? Mm, let's just jump right into one game. And then I can show your girls and all your boys and whatever is in between. Um, what has changed? Because there have been a couple of updates. I can show you what the game looks like if you haven't played it yet and I can show you how trash I am so there are a couple of things that are still bothering me with this game that are people who are annoying the heck out of me um, I never display the names I don't know who does that because if you're a friend you're just looking for your crazy partner just like that like so like that and I'm terrible I cannot talk and play a game at once I'm gonna completely lose the first round am I not it doesn't matter I'm not the last okay okay like so so this is the first round I'm getting terribly bad at it 
I'm not this bad, guys, by the way. Just for your own knowledge. If I really try to play the game properly, I don't suck that much. I'm currently just really, really bad. Um, so I know I will be disqualified. Um, I don't know about you guys who've played the game, but if I have one thing I really dislike about the game, Aww. that are the fruits. That are really the fruits. Let me fastly go to another round where I don't play this bad. <laughs> this is a complete joke. So yeah, I am wondering for the guys and girls and whoever um, have been playing this game from the start or just picked it up or playing it with friends, what are your opinions about the game? Um, to me, I see that a lot of maps are quite repetitive. I have a feeling that there are still maps that I've never seen before. And there are maps that I've seen a million times. I feel like the balance isn't quite there yet. Of course, there are certain maps that come in higher um, when you come uh, close to the finish. Is that the right way to say? Anyway, when you progress throughout your game, you will get different maps. Um, is that a bad thing? Sometimes it is because I feel like in the beginning, you don't have enough variety. I have had this morning that I started five games and five games were the exact same map. This is, I think, a coincidence because we again have the same map as the one I showed you before. But yeah, now we're on the front, so now we can slay the game. That, that are things that annoy me. People who do be like that. Sometimes it do be like that, I know. in comparison to the last one. I have to say, the music in the game is the best though. The music is really the most hyped up shit I've ever heard. I'm really a fan of that. Like some games the music gets annoying. The heck? I'm really a fan of this music. And I really like that they made these additions that every map can be a little bit, tad bit different. I still think that your persona or whatever this thing is doesn't work fast enough. Oh, I look, I don't so that much. This time we didn't have annoying person at the beginning. The last time we had. Um, I wish this game loaded faster. There are a couple of things that annoy me. People who grab you all the time. I think there should be a report button for that. I think um, that there sh that it should be shown with which which groups are together. I think which people are working together. I think um, we should have a report button. Is that the first thing that I said? I think it is, and that the loading speed should increase. Because there are quite some maps, especially when you get close to the finish, you've gone through so many maps and the loading time isn't the best. And I know that isn't only the, f the problem of the developers, but sometimes I do think there, there can be a little bit tweaking here and there. Um, I know when the f game first released um, that there were a lot of problems with disconnecting. I'm happy that that, for me at least, has not been the problem as much as in the beginning. In the beginning, oh lord, the disconnection was real. And I know a lot of people actually hate this map. I actually really like it. I like the, um, the fun of it because it's really that... Um, Yes, 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 yes. It isn't that hard to me. The map isn't the worst, but I have not seen this version yet. What do I? Oh my god. <laughs> it do be like that. <laughs> oh no. I've never had this before. It is completely nice. No, no, no. Oh no. 
I like dislike this way more than before. What is this? I really don't like this. What are we supposed to do right now? Just wait? I'm not gonna stand there. What is this? Like, seriously though? Why is this an update? Why did they do this? My brain is literally... Just thinking why why has this been an update I really dislike this this is literally the biggest note for me why has this been an idea from who in the building of Fall Guys made this up Oh, and when come to think of it, um, I would really, really like a chat function. No, this is something I really dislike. Aww. I think I'm eliminated. What is this? Are you serious? Okay, so I didn't show them around. Probably there's a big, big something, something. To get the blood flowing and to get you to the other side but this is a big no to me so this isn't my best review I know I'm sorry but my review concludes that the game is actually quite fun I know it didn't show but I was pleasantly surprised when I came back to the game there was actually quite some updates I really got a bad map I really don't know why they changed this I hope they are gonna change the back but I think the game is still very much in development because we all know that Fall Guys wasn't um, expected to go up this much. So I really like that the developers are trying their best to keep the game fresh, to get them some new maps. I think they needed to um, redo all of their priorities when it blew up like this. But to me, the game is still worth playing. I know that there are a lot of other games right, out, uh, right now that are having a lot of attention like Among Us which is quite the older game but I still think this game is a big fun and if you're um, thinking about buying it I would sure wait that the price goes down a little bit in a sale because personally I still think I thought it wasn't worth the money I still think it wasn't worth the money, wasn't worth the money and I'm not I probably never will think the 20 euros is the right amount of money for this game. I just think it's overpriced. I'm very sorry for everyone out there. But if we can get a game like Story Valley for only 14 bucks, if we can get a game like Rocket League, which was initially around 15 bucks and it's currently going free, I don't think this game should even be 15 euros. We have expansion passes. I think the game in itself should be free and then you can decide whether or not you want like the fancy clothing and that um, you can spend your money on that but honestly I because also if we just go to the, the not this get kudos this is actually money A whole, the whole system of the game is actually just build around money so I don't understand why the main game is still 20 euros because if you want the full game or the deluxe version or whatever it is it is expensive I think what was it the full guys collector's edition cost you another 10 bucks I'm sorry but what why would you ever pay so much money if these things are in-game purchases if you're already putting out expansion i generally disagree with the price of the game the only reason i got the game is because i had some gift cards for steam 
but I really, really, really think people who want this game should wait on a sale because, again, I said it, it's not worth it. Is the game fun in itself? Yes, very much. Only I would, oh, I would sincerely think that um, you should buy the game at 10 euros. I think if the game were 10 euros, it's way better. But yeah, that is the conclusion of my review. Very much fun, way overpriced. Points me around a seven. If I would um, grade the sole fun of the game itself, I would say a sure a nine. The price I will give a one. I generally don't agree with the price. But yeah, I still think you can get so much fun out of it and quite some hours of gameplay. So all included a seven. Because I don't think if a game is really good, the price should matter. But I had all my arguments why I don't think it's still not worth it. But hey, have an amazing week. If, if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably heard that I am going to upload less. So I'm sorry about that, but life is busy. Stay safe, stay cute, and I will catch you up, guys, at the next video. Bye, guys. Love you.